For centuries, women have seemingly played a secondary role in the agricultural sector, when in fact, they have been the bedrock. While men led, negotiated, and controlled resources, women historically worked in the fields and were expected to support, nurture, and stabilize. Farms thrived, communities thrived, families thrived. However, despite these roles women have played, traditional gender norms and social expectations continue to limit the accessibility of resources, resulting in women and youth remaining at the base of the value chain. Helena, a farmer of over 30 years in Babano St. Lucia, shares her story of navigating and overcoming over the decades. My name is Helena Thomas. 30 years upwards since I doing farming. I learned farming. My mom teach me how to do farming. In those days, they used to have the bananas as usual, plantain and little in between backyard garden, like tomatoes and little cucumbers and these things. So that's how I learned to do farming. And from there, I take it from there to proceed to go to the market to sell my little produce and back to my mother's home. If you don't do office work, you will be into the farming. They, for now, they will say that that's a downfall. But right now, I see it's a, 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 it's a goal right now into farming. In certain crops, you have, you'll get a bread faster. But the long run crops, you can get a bread every day. If you plant about five beds or four, 10 beds, but you'll get a dollar every day to send your children to school. That's how I learned to do little by little by little since and I grew bigger. In those days, we could have do, we plant in a, in a half acre of land, but right now I expand to an acre of land to do my farming. Looking back to the 40 years back, today I'm proud to be a farmer. In the Caribbean, a tradition of anecdotal assessments or analyses somehow always seems to prevail, both formally and informally. However, as data evolves into digital currency, we see its value in the agricultural sector becoming even more crucial. We sit with Dr. Nadia Packet Anslem, Country Coordinator for WISC Caribbean, to delve deeper into the importance of research for this sector. Sustainable Agriculture in the Caribbean project commissioned what we make reference to as a gender responsive market analysis. This study, which was commissioned late last year, was geared towards primarily providing some detailed information to the project as it relates to gender responsive market analysis. The document in itself was commissioned um, in a number of countries within the Caribbean where the project operates, in five countries primarily. And what it did was to show us the areas of focus as it relates to primary subsectors within the agricultural market systems, which benefits women and which women and youth, I should say, are ready to work within. One young woman who appreciates the value of data and how instructive it can be in understanding the intersectionalities of women in agribusiness is Kathleen Karu, founder of Helen's Daughters. Women want and need to be acknowledged as the backbone of agriculture, not only nationally, but also globally. We have been the safe guardians of food systems. While men were practicing monoculturism for decades, women were intercropping and actually conserving our soils. While men were looking at agriculture as solely a commercial aspect, women were looking at agriculture from the nutrition standpoint, how we feed our families, how we feed our nations. As I said before, women have single-handedly fed much of the globe's populations. So why would we be left behind in the conversation when it comes to agriculture? There's a powerful shift happening and I'm happy to be a part of it. Women are no longer accepting traditional roles in agriculture. We are now creating innovations in the agriculture fintech space, in marketing and distribution, in raw production, even in the beauty, nutraceutical and skinceutical sectors. We are no longer accepting agriculture as a man's world. We are creating one of our own and empowering others along the way. In the next episode, we explore how and why WUSC is creating a platform for change for youth 
and women in agriculture in Zindusha and Dominica.